all scientific consensus on the mysterious objects collected by the visitors. One popular theory is that the giant subterranean root light networks were a type of von Neumann probe which swept across the cosmos billions of years ago, when the Earth was one large supercontinent. It is thought that all 11 of the alien craft were positioned above these artifacts, buried deep beneath the ground, at seemingly random locations around the world. Of these, half were situated at sea, and only the big three were located near populated areas. One left behind following the Hopi incident in Livonia has now almost completely withered away, presumably due to measures taken by the visitors themselves. Stories continue to abound regarding this failed extraction, with many claiming authorities made a discovery some weeks before first contact was established. Reliable information on events, however, is difficult to confirm. Eyewitness to the chaotic events in Livonia, Dr. Kessler, welcome to the show. Thanks, good to be here. You've only just come back from Russia, is that correct? Yeah, we had a 40-day quarantine in Kaliningrad. But no, nah, don't, don't get me wrong, I was glad for it. There was quite a lot to process. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, and they gave you the all clear, I hope. It's fine. We're all fine. We were lucky out there. A small team of Americans helped us get some biological samples. From the buried probe? Uh, Buenos Aires, nadzwyczajnego szczytu ONZ. W sprawie przybycia stwierdziła, że do tragicznych wydarzeń, jakie miały miejsce w pierwszym kontakcie, pośrednio doprowadziły zakłócenia komunikacji. Stwierdziła również, że sytuację dodatkowo skomplikowały napięcia w kontaktach ze Stanami Zjednoczonymi po manewrach elektron oraz naruszenia granicy z obwodem kaliningradzkim przez Rosjan. Według oficjalnego dochodzenia informacje przekazane Ministerstwu Obrony Narodowej wykazały, że goście są wrogo nastawieni. Te błędne wnioski wyciągnięte... The If the electron exercises triggered something, how did the visitors get here so quickly? At the moment, the scientific community is, well, honestly, it's, it's divided. Okay, what can do it? reports that they will go ahead with the ambitious Akaronar project, dubbed the Journey to End All Journeys. Akaronar will see a series of minuscule, wafer-like robotic probes sent deep into space at a velocity one quarter the speed of light. The first step, however, involves constructing a huge 10-kilometer laser ray in orbit, employing 70 gigawatts of power. Lead engineer on the project, Katja Rosing, has said components for the laser ray will be launched on the anniversary of first contact in the summer of next year. A parallel time. The time is relative. And he then believes what? That light speed isn't a cosmic limit? He does not suggest the visitors got here at speeds faster than light, no. But rather that the neutrino messages sent from Earth arrived even before they were sent. I don't need to tell you, those really do open the door to exciting possibilities. 